Hello, everyone, and welcome to the January 17th, 2023 KCP community meeting. Um, we have a few folks from the Red Hat team who are at an on site. Um, so uh, it's a smaller team today. Um, got a few items on the agenda. Um, the first one um, was an issue and an email out to the, mail, the uh, Google group about the virtual workspaces term uh, being changed to views. Um, this is more heads up, lazy consensus uh, for the term expired today. And it looks like uh, most people are in favor of views. Um, so this issue will probably be moving forward in the next release. Uh, maybe not 011, but I'm guessing 012. Um, so that was the first item that I wanted to bring people's attention to. Uh, and we'll skip the incoming issues and milestones until later. Um, so Mike, I'll go ahead and hand it over to you. Okay, so the issue I wanted to bring up was um, connected to the concern of, you know, we want to promote the KCP work upstream and how do we do it? And the um, problem was when we tried to sell it upstream, the sale didn't really go through. Uh, they didn't buy the kind of, um, well, it was sold as, as multi-tenancy and people objected that it's not hard enough multi-tenancy. And it's true. Um, it's, it's not a fully hard multi-tenancy. There is some interaction between uh, the tenants. So what I was wondering is, can we sell the concept, a lighter weight concept of uh, a higher level of virtualization? Uh, in, and in fact, that has been tried too. Um, the upstream people, you know, the, K, the API machinery SIG says, well, we don't believe we want uh, super namespaces, they call it uh, generally, right? And um, I was wondering, you know, a two pronged thought. Um, you know, we have some use cases. I enumerated four in the agenda. Uh, you know, if we go with these four use cases, uh, you know, that says, you know, if we just had this high level namespace, uh, it would help these four use cases. Um, you know, could, maybe we could make the sale that way um, of, of just this a layer of uh, extra layer of virtualization. Uh, but the other question is, if we did that and succeeded no more, could KCP proceed with upstream buying only uh, basically logical clusters? not workspaces and API export and, every, every, and TMC and everything else. Um, so this is a two-pronged question or idea here. Yeah, I think that's a great question because um, it would always be nice to reduce the, the number of things we're forking from KCP, or I'm sorry, Kubernetes. Um, admittedly, I'm not as close to the conversations about putting thing concepts from KCP into Kubernetes. Um, but has has the idea of presenting logical clusters already happened upstream or not yet? Well, when I asked Andy about this, um, and I think this was in maybe even a previous community meeting, uh, mm -hmm. and I think I also had a separate conversation with Andy, um, my understanding of what he was trying to tell me, and maybe I did not fully understand, or maybe I'm not remembering fully, but my current takeaway understanding is that the KCP project has tried to sell its concept, uh, its virtual, well, has tried to sell multi tenancy uh, in the mm -hmm. API server. And the upstream community did not buy it because it's not really a full isolation. They said, if you want to go multi tenant, uh, run multiple binaries. Don't don't try to put the multiple tenants together in one binary because there's going to be interference between them. Sure. Right. And that's true. Um, you know, in fact, we've been trying to make, uh, you know, with Jamie, I've been working on making API priority and fairness, uh, getting that into the, the KCP binary. And we kind of gave, we had an initial design that really did isolate the tenants. Um, and people told us, well, that's too expensive. Uh, we want probably a design that's gives less isolation between the tenants. So for that, and lots of other reasons, um, you know, Go just doesn't have the, you know, true total isolation. Um, 
So there's, there's, it, it really is a weak form of multi-tenancy. And I think thinking of it as an additional layer of virtualization you know, is, is the thing that could make sense. And that's really the question to take upstream is, does it make sense to add a higher level of namespace or virtualization in the API server? And when I've asked upstream in the API machinery SIG, you know, they said, yeah, we don't believe we need a, a higher, a super namespace or a higher level of namespace. Um, and I don't have the full history of that discussion there. So I, I don't actually know. Maybe someone else in this meeting knows. But, but maybe, maybe it would be worthwhile to maybe postpone or even move this discussion to next week where we have Stefan and Andy that were heavily involved in those discussions instead of us trying to guess, you know, what happened. Uh, we can leave that point open. Well, so we, no, we, we know. We know they tried to sell multi-tenancy and that didn't work. Okay, and I can understand that not working. The question is, and maybe this is a question for the API machinery sig, you know, rather than this group, you know, why not high-level namespace? You know, we have, I enumerated in the issue here, four use cases for high-level namespace. So that's, my, that's part of my question is, you know, can we sell higher-level namespace? And the other part of my question is, if we do sell higher-level namespace and API machinery sig adopts higher-level namespace, but not the rest of anything from KCP, can KCP proceed, you know, having everything else external to the server that Upstream maintains? Yeah, I just want to jump in um, since a rep representative of Crossplane here. Um, lots of uh, what KCP offers um, is not super critical to us, and I think Mike is pretty spot on here that like this uh, logical namespaces is is really the uh, the critical component that we care about. Um, and I think, you know, there's two different paths I could see. It would be great if this was just supported upstream in our eyes, right? And, and that's, um, you know, kind of our goal with most of what we're doing. Um, the kind of like a secondary win, I guess, that we could see just, you know, from our perspective is that uh, it, it was modular enough that it would be very easy to build something that maybe maybe it's not formally supported upstream, but it's very easy to enable it, right? The the pieces are e easy to fit together. I don't have you know a design for what that looks like, and, and the complexity of that um, may be more challenging than you know uh, I'm alluding to here. Um, but that is a uh, that's another avenue that we wonder um, if that would be you know a, a reasonable outcome here. But like I I also don't have the context of the previous upstream conversations. Um, so I'd love to learn more about what happened there. And if by modularity, you only mean adding stuff into a binary, I mean, that's kind of a given, right? We've already demonstrated that you can put together a binary that, that you know, puts together stuff. And that's already in the plan, right? They've already sold the generic control plane uh, upstream, right? So if we could get not only the generic control plane library, but this super namespace, you know, my question is, uh, yeah, if I guess I guess what you're saying is, if the generic control plane library supported super namespace, you know, would that be good enough? And you know, the idea of the generic control plane library is you can make a main by you know adding very little to it, and different groups can make different mains to suit their own purposes, right? And so my question to you is, are you saying that would be good enough for you? I think it would be, and uh, maybe it, actually I, I'd, I'd run this by you and see if this uh, sounds right from like a tangible perspective. I would love for, uh, and I, I'm sure you know most folks in the KCP community would as well. It would be great if the uh, like fork of Kubernetes that's currently under KCP could be not a fork, right? Like it could be as upstream as possible, and everything else was just added in. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I think that's what we all want, right? We all want mm -hmm. to not have a fork of K of Kubernetes. That you know, right? I'm I'm trying to explore a way to get there. Yeah, I think from my perspective, I I don't know enough about those particular components to make an educated statement. Um, I, I know this is something that Andy and Stefan are talking about this week. Um, so, Mike, if you don't mind, uh, I'll add this to the agenda for next week um, because I know they've had some other ideas about things to propose upstream and how we could possibly not have a fork. Makes um, sense. Thank you. 
yeah yeah i apologize i'm just not i don't have enough context on the upstream to really know uh where we would go with that and uh, in the meantime we can take the time to maybe elaborate more about the possible use case that can benefit from that and that way we can discuss those use cases and those examples like the cross plan and all of that next week right and maybe you know we can come to some some uniform conclusion right yep sounds good um so i'm sorry i did not paste this into the google meet chat but uh, if anyone else has uh, an agenda item before we move on to the incoming issues, um, you can raise your hand and we can add that on. If not, um, we can go through a triage really quickly. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, a number of these already have signing so i'm just going to do those really quickly all right um bugs and flakes i'm going to just put into backlog okay um and steve is looking for a way to separate Um, I think I'm going to put that in backlog. And the sinker is not working. Uh, okay, also back log for now i think david's handling that and generic api request okay this looks like a technical debt kind of thing so i think at this point um everything is backlog um i will give folks one more opportunity to bring up uh, any other topics otherwise we can get 45 minutes back um i had a, a quick question and uh it, this might be something that we just need to defer i can jump in slack and ask as well um mm -hmm. but i know there was um some work i, I believe steve was leading it um around uh, alternate, uh, alternate storage interfaces, specifically folks on uh, Cockroach TV. Um, mm -hmm. Feel free to just direct me to do some reading instead of uh, taking up time here, but uh, is there any uh, updates or status uh, on that effort right now? No updates yet. Um, I know, I think he's still in the prototype stage. Uh, I know the next step we would want to do is get uh, a maybe more fleshed out prototype with a single node going and then see what we need to do uh to get that working across shards um i know he was saying this morning that even if we would stick with etcd uh that is uh, a non-zero amount of work uh to get that working the way we want um but as of now i do not know about uh storage options yeah ezra go ahead yeah, we actually were working with Steven. We in in I mean we developed a POC. Not POC, you can actually see a pull request on the Kubernetes fork of a, of KCP that is actually working. We tested it, everything is working. Um we even I even created a dummy PR in the KCP. A repository to make sure we are passing all the tests and all of that so everything is working um, and I think a week ago notified me that he is moving that to draft because there is no way to say do not uh, merge or anything 
However, the problem now is more of, um, I wouldn't say political, but uh, currently we, we believe that uh, merging this as is will cause the gap. It, it's related to the previous discussion. It will cause the, it will increase the gap between Kubernetes and KCP. And we don't want to do that. So I, I think Steve pointed me to some work that was done initially in Kubernetes was stopped in the middle. It was done for a different reason to help with testing and so on on, on the databases. But he believed that if we will help upstream that work from some guy from Google, it will make it easier to integrate Cockroach. Uh, I want to mention also that, uh, you know, to be, to, to be honest, uh, there are some gaps even in the current solution in the Cockroach, right? Both technical, features-wise, and so on, that are still not... Um, not solved. The reason I wanted to push it as as uh, you know fast as possible is that uh, we will now, of course, need to rebase again, do everything again, because the Kubernetes for keep changing, right? So, uh, but let's see. We all believe, and also last comment is I also heard Steve told me this directly also that he believes that um, when we go to multi-region and all of that. You know, because we are interested also in use case in which you have huge amount of cluster in a single region, okay? But for multi-region, Steve thinks that we cannot go forward with ETCD. It will just, you know, it's not reasonable. So let's see how it works. Awesome. Thanks for all that context. Yeah, and we got the nice results. We, we even, you know, we had the KCP and Kubernetes even with like, 80 gigabytes of a uh, database, you know, in ECD, who can only have eight, right? So it works nicely. Awesome. Do you, so, do you happen to have a, a video you know, if, a demo or anything? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that you are interested, so I will keep you in the loop. That's awesome. good to know. Uh, and uh, well, yeah. Yeah, we have, a, we have, not, we have a demo, but we, yeah, we have a demo. Yes, I, I can sh send you a video of the demo. And we also have some, uh, performance results of the uh, latency, the, the, you know, watch cache latencies, all of that, uh, performance of uh, memory, CPU, and all of that. Compare it between Cockroach and its Awesome. Awesome. I'll ping you in Slack. Appreciate it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that, Ezra. I was not aware that you had that fork running. That's awesome. Um, and you mentioned we've we've had discussions on the uh, on the KCP fork and, and rebasing and everything. I know Steve has been evaluating uh, for a bump to I think one twenty five. Um, so yeah, we'll. I think that's coming soon as well. I again, I don't know if it's going to be zero eleven uh, that that makes it in, but yeah, the the fork. Can I put is, a finer point on that? Yeah. What what I recall from a recent meeting was the plan was first there was this um, other big change in the way um, logical clusters are done um, mm -hmm. that's coming in a series of PRs. The mm -hmm. plan was to get that done and then do the rebase. Yeah. We're pretty close on the sharding. Um, I know there's a bunch of EDEs that need to be fixed um, still. So yeah that is your order of, of operations you're correct thanks folks yeah thanks everybody uh if nobody has anything else i'm getting uh the meeting notes for next week started since we have a bunch of deferred topics um and i'll drop that in the slack channel uh if folks want to add anything uh yes fish new Hey, hi everyone. Uh, I'm new to this community, so I have been trying out uh, KCP on my OpenShift local CRC cluster. So I had an issue with the syncer. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not able to, you know, identify. Uh, I mean, uh, sync all the resources from my local cluster to the KCP workspace. So when I uh, tail for the pod logs, I see uh, it. It tries to perform a get operation on a private IP, and it uh, fails uh, due to you know uh, connection. I mean, 
due to uh, some authentication problem. So I have raised the issue for that. Uh, I see it's more due to the backlog. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, uh, so is there, I mean, uh, so what can I expect on that? Like, uh, is there any other way I can uh, make Sinker working? So that I mean, I just to try out KCP on my CRC cluster. Yeah, let me um, look for that issue and ping either David or... Um... Here is the issue. Uh, I'll just post it here. So this is what I tried. Uh, I have added steps as well. OK, great. And also, I found similar issues, uh, two more, which are like, which, which, are, which are the same issues. So I guess um, there are others also uh, who are impacted by this. Got it. Uh, I'm contacting, contacting David because I have not touched this part of the code very much. Um, I'm working a lot on the API exports. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, he's in one of the meetings today that's pulled other people away. Mm -hmm. um, so I will, I've pinged him in the issue and I'll contact him uh, off separately um, to let him know it's there. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. That, that helps. Thanks so much. And, and yeah. just to clarify, uh, I mean, just to, you know, make sure, uh, is this the right place to discuss on issues? I mean, just in the interest of time, I was just curious sure yeah um i don't know that we'll go into detailed troubleshooting but you can definitely raise them just like you did okay 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 yeah sure sure thank you yep okay one more call for issues all right uh well have a great week everyone and we will see you next week thank you bye, bye.